welcome to the energy and upgrade for the time from july 27th to the 2nd of august yes it does get more exciting because we're also getting into the energy of the lion's gate portal and again that will be extremely powerful and of course we have another video on that but what is the energy doing for this week from the 27th till august 2nd well it is really inviting us more and more into the heart space and it is interesting i've been i'm listening to other people of course i'm not just sitting here in my hammock and do everything on my own hanolei the beautiful hawaiian who works with the mu energy has said very clearly lemuria is actually about the heart and this is where lemuria failed in a way this is why we are not in lemuria anymore and in a way this is also how atlantis fell so the only way to continue in our beautiful frequency of the heart is actually by having the support from the cosmos so it wasn't time and and it was just our journey so what is changing now for this week is that you have access to the heart self to the soul self and to the source self so in a way we're, we're coming into an alignment that you could say is the galactic center the cosmic heart and your own heart and of course it's very interesting if you look in the night sky the galactic center is actually very very present so what does it mean when we come into this alignment heart self soul self and source self well we are actually able to stabilize i want to call it to stabilize the, the frequencies and the dimension of the sixth dimension. David Essery, Tim Wild are also talking about that. And, and I know that this has really happened. We become much more conscious when we are out. And one of the first things, how we recognize that we can maintain and sustain that sixth frequency aligned to heart self, source self, soul self is when we watch our voice and so we are starting to speak always from the heart and the higher heart you could say that the higher heart is the connection to the divine intelligence but also to your crown chakra and i would take it further it's also connected to the soul self the heart is definitely the center and if if you are resonating it's very easy for you to actually understand that without the heart nothing works so it's going up into the upper heart and then into the voice we have all been hurt and conditioned and traumatized and having traumatic lives in some way or another one of the biggest challenges, and this is interesting that it comes now, is actually money. Whether you have plenty or not enough, whether you are struggling to pay your bills or whether it's just covering up, money is an issue. And I feel as we are settling in to the sixth dimension, that will actually fade. So in a way, money as we know it today is a graduation that we are invited at this moment with this energy money was obviously introduced to to symbolize exchange so instead of i trade my services for yours or i trade my products for you but for yours we created money but of course money is much easier to control and money is much easier to to manipulate and to control others so for many of us the idea of debt doesn't exist so where we come from the higher dimensions there is no debt there is no no money as we know it here on earth so money 
becomes for many a curse instead of a blessing. It's just an energy that can be exchanged. But of course, looking at the monetary systems at the moment that are falling apart. So just be with us as this energy is really supporting us. So what do I want to bring you today in the light language, in the bridge, in the upgrade? It is getting this alignment between the heart self, the soul self and the source self. Connecting, of course, to the galactic center, the cosmic heart, and I'm feeling also to the sun. And all planets that are in a trine or in whatever position with those. And so we can, we can access this fifth dimensional blueprint. What is also changing, of course, in that process as we become crystalline, but also as we really shift into homoluminous and our operating system heart, that is also important in that context, we can hold the frequency of the sixth dimension. So we can transcend quite a lot of things. And I feel this is really, really important for all of us. So our voice really, really comes now from the heart as we are making this alignment. So the light language that comes through as an update is that alignment. Now, there are 12 dimensions for most of us. I feel there's much more, but the 12 are crucial. We have access to all 12. We just can't hold it and we can't fully integrate or embody it. But what we can do now, we can settle more in the sixth dimension. So let me tune in and our friends today that are coming in. That's very interesting. Egypt is coming through a lot in that whole context, which is, of course, very fascinating. And who is with me today is actually Ma'at. And Ma'at is in the in the uh, Egyptian mythology about justice, but it's not about justice here. It's more than justice. It's about truth. And she has that scale where when we pass, we put our, she puts our heart there. And if it's light enough to balance with her feather, then we basically go on and graduate as a soul self. So she is here today. And it's very clear to me, without being light in the heart, it is not possible to settle in, to connect the, the, the heart to the voice, or to connect to the soul self, to the cosmic heart and to the galactic center. So it's all very interesting today. So my art is here and who comes very strong to me over the last couple of days is Rumi. He's not seen as an ascended master, but it seems his language, his poetry, his presence is more now in, in these dimensions of the ascended masters. And I feel him truly part of the soul ascension as we speak. So yes, Ma'at is here for the lightness of your heart. We don't need to die. So we talked a lot last time about rebirthing. So when we die to the old and really let go and we rebirth, it doesn't mean that we die physically. And again, I want to make sure that we're very clear about that. So let me see what is coming through. To, to help you, to support you in this upgrade so that you can more and more settle into the sixth dimension where the mastery of money is coming in and speaking our truth and our heart at all times. Tashima Tashima Tarima Yoka Yama Yeheyu 
Tashima, 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 Tashima. Kalareya, Kalareya, Kalayema, Yomaya. Kashtarararera, Roa, Mehu. Kashtarararera, Rea, Mehu. Kashtarea, Mena, Nena. Narimana, Narimana, Nua, Shatkayama, Tukayama, Rai. Liar mira ho ya me na yo ho 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 ho. Kala la 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 yo tarish ta me ta roha. Nere na rio kashtare undare ya pashta me yo. So enjoy this alignment. Just breathe it in. Enjoy how your heart becomes light like a feather. Fully aligning in your evolu evolu evoluting, <laughs> evolutionary body to homo luminous. The heart, the higher heart and the throat coming into the sixth dimension, settling in and accessing all dimensions. And then also from that column of light, these vortexes connecting to the cosmic heart and the galactic center. And then also connecting to your soul self, your heart self and your source self. Just allow this to happen. Ishtarira, Ishtarira, Ishtare Maye, Ishtare Ma, Ishtare Ma, Ishtare Ma, Tari Ma, Yo, Ishtare Ma, Ishtare Ma, Ishtare Ma, Kolare Ma, Yo, Kali Maro Humdare Shandare, Na. So these are very new frequencies and energies coming through. And of course, you have received now a lot of light calls. So of course, I'm always curious what is happening for you. How does it all work for you? And what are your experience? Remember, this is not a one off thing. This is just the initiation to that journey. And it's important that you are all very conscious about what is actually happening for you and how it is unfolding for you. So the energy is here anyway. Mm -hmm. My light language is here to simply upgrade you and give you this access so that you are not struggling and fighting, but you are actually in alignment and in harmony with these upgrades. Yes, and what is happening in Sonkos Worlds and with the Sonkos at the time that you will be listening to this, I won't be in the jungle because we are in Lima. And we're having, of course, our special offer for Lima that you can find in our community. So if you are in Lima, please feel free to, to tune in. Of course, there are limited spaces. We are traveling always to your space, so you don't have to go anywhere. Um, so that is very important. And that is all in line with this energy that we are talking about. And so these sessions are a lot about accessing inner peace, so really going within. And of course, in fast-paced cities like Lima, this will be really, really amazing or is amazing as you are listening to that. Of course, we're offering that also online. And more and more, and this is interesting, the heart fire gets really, really strong. So as you are familiar, if you're listening to me more often, the heart fire is our retreat and it's actually dancing with your heart fire to yourself so you see all these themes are reoccurring and of course as we are in these new alignments and new energies the heart fire gets a totally different momentum and i'm very clear next week when we go into the lion's gate even more so no surprise the heart fire retreats in sicily in october as there is still so much energy coming through especially about the heart fire so stay tuned and just be with us and thank you for liking the videos thank you for subscribing and thank you for your comments this is a community space this is for us to be together and we love to meet you obviously in person in sicily in lima 
or online as it suits. And please also feel free to let us know how we can be together with you more on this journey. Weaving, weaving a new earth, it, it gets more and more exciting and I'm very happy to be here with you. And so, yeah, have a blessed day. Enjoy yourself and enjoy these new energies and what I've just been able to give to you. Much love.